Okay, so enough about me um, um, ranting, ranting on. We're going to hear from some of the software vendors now, uh, and I'll ask the software vendors after they've presented if they don't mind sort of sitting on the on the chairs as much as uh, as much as we can fit in. Okay, so we're going to ask uh, Dermot, I think, to to come up and speak first of all. Thank you. Okay, thanks very much. Um, I'm here representing uh, Exactel, manufacturers of Costex, um, but I'm not, um, I'm not an employee of, of, of Costex. I'm, a, I'm an academic and a practitioner in, in, in Dublin, um, lecturing in the Dublin Institute of Technology. Um, so I was just coming, back, coming at it from kind of a, a fresh stance. Um, I knew a bit about the software, and I've worked with software before, but I wanted to see, could it do what I would do in Excel? Um, could it do do it in, in, in the system itself. Um, so I had thought I had a, a bit more time. Um, I've got 20 odd slides, so I'm just gonna skip by the first number of slides. Um, Trevor has already kind of really addressed them in terms of how you bring in a, a, a BIM model into the system and how you extract quantities from, from that BIM model. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly run through that um, <laughs> and start with, with the model. So we brought in uh, the IFC file and we extracted quantities uh, from the IFC file, but just like capital cost, um, you cannot get everything in relation to the quantities from that file. It's quite useful for some areas and it's particularly useful for counts. But we found, just like when you're doing a cost estimate, we found that we, uh, we needed to supplement that information. Um, like most quantities of areas practicing the BIM, where they'll, they'll do their checks with 2D um, on the 3D model, which you might think is a bit redundant, um, but still it is, it is quick in relation to uh, extracting quantities. Um, so we did take off um, the floor area as well as uh, as it being automatically generated from the model, and we found that it was it was rel uh, was quite similar. Um, now what we did was was we you know Costex has a, a kind of a database function, and what we originally did was we brought in the cost information from the BCIS documentation, the maintenance rates and the life expectancies into the database. Um, and that provided us a means where we, where we could extract that information and input it into the, into the workbook. Um, and it's there, once it's in, it can be used on, on numerous projects, it can be used on your, your, your future projects. Um, the way it works is Costex, and again, Trevor alluded to it, um, its functionality is based on a kind of a workbook and a takeoff. The takeoff system and the workbook are essentially within the same program. You do your takeoff and you live link um, that take off to your workbook. Once that live link is established, if you change your quantity, the links change throughout your workbook. So you get one quantity with 10 different items in your workbook, change that one quantity, 10 different items change. Um, what we did with the workbook is we, we, we based it on the NRM3 structure. So you'll see at the top we've got minor maintenance items, and you'll see at the bottom half of the sheet there are the workbook we have major items, major replacement items. So renewal items and, and minor works items. Um, and, and the elemental breakdown structure is, is the BCIS um, elemental structure and NRM elemental structure there. So the applicable elements um, are 2.6 down through 5.1 standard in installations. Um, the, again, the way COSTEX works is based on a higher, hierarchical structure. So that will be the summary page, but drilling down into the actual calculations, you get down into a more detailed uh, page. So what we did was essentially, this is an example of the sanitary installations calculations. Um, and in the minor um, maintenance um, calculations, we've broken down, or we've given you an example here of how we're demonstrating those calculations. So we got two quantity of two WCs, cleared blockage um, uh, obstruction in the WC, or possibly overhaul the W uh, the washout basin. Um, again, we've got clear blockage obstruction in the WC, but there's a number of different items in, the, in that. That's just you know, showing the actual calculations. So we do the calculations there. That's quite traditional, quantity, unit, rate, and cost. Um, the next number of columns, what Costex gives you the ability to do is add columns, user-defined columns to the workbook, just like you do in Excel. Um, so in this case, we added a maintenance period, and we added a maintenance factor. Um, in the actual replacement items, we can... We, we can leverage the, um, the, the replacement cycles that we were given from the, B, uh, the BCIS documentation. But on the maintenance um, items, we have to make some assumptions, and that's probably why there is a bit of a difference between 
um, what we had done and maybe another vendor. Um, we also need to add in the data requirements for life cycle costing. So we need to input in the inflation rate, the discount rate, um, you know, the period of the analysis, and, and whether we want it to be displayed in real costs, whether we want it displayed in nominal costs, or whether we want the default display to be in, 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 in present value. Um, so once the data requirements goes into the workbook, again, this just essentially is, is, is in what you would do in Excel in the Costex workbook, we were able to automatically generate our cash flows. We were all automatically able to calculate those cash flows in a cumulative present value or a cumulative real cost. Um, so there is formulas embedded in those cells and um, those formulas automatically populate the cash flows and automatically populate uh, the estimate. Um, so we can do it from, that is in real cost in today's money, that is in your escalated nominal cost, um, and that is in your present value. So those cash flows are being automatically populated. Um, this is back again to the, uh, the, the NRM3 summary page. So what you see there is the actual elemental structure, um, the annual real costs, the escalated cost, the present value, and you'll see the real cost cash flow um, on a year-by-year -year basis. So we had originally put into the actual data requirements that we wanted to see it in real costs, and thus it defaults a cash flow um, forecast in real costs. If we put in escalated costs or if we put in present value, it would demonstrate per the calculations, um, you know, those formats. Um, now this is, what we wanted to do is we wanted to do it in the NRM3 structure, and the NRM3 structure essentially uh, is applied to maintenance costs and applied to renewal costs, but it can, these calculations can be done for other operations costs, such as energy costs, cleaning costs, um, post, etc. Um, and they would be based on annual costs. Um, again, the NRM structure also has the markups there down the bottom, so we've added in contractors overhead and profit, VAT, tender inflation, etc. Um, and what we do, and what we can do, uh, Costex has a report writer, um, and those of you that use Costex would use it for your capital costs, and you can basically select from the workbook what you want to present in your report. So we were able to leverage that report writer um, and demonstrate you know, a cost plan, a maintenance and renewal cost plan for 10 years, for 20 years, and 30 years. So what we'd have to do if we wanted to demonstrate it for either one of those uh, three cycles, we'd input into the workbook what uh, evaluation time period we wanted to demonstrate. We select it for 30 years, and it'll output a 30-year 30, a 30 report. So the key to the system is essentially that it's, it's a 5D BIM cost estimating system. It gives the user the ability to add columns to that workbook. If you have the ability to add columns, you can add life cycle costing functionality to those columns. So those of you that do life cycle cost estimates, um, most of you will probably use Excel. Costex gives you the ability to tra maybe transfer those Excel uh, life cycle cost estimates and the functionality in those documents into Costex. That means you can do your life cycle cost exercises um, leveraging your cost plan and leveraging your dimensions in the same system. So that's essentially what BIM is all about. We change a quantity and it proliferates parametrically through the system. It changes our cost, it changes our life cycle cost. And I suppose the barriers to life cycle costing, one of the big barriers for, life, for, for quantity surveyors is, is those calculations and the time consuming nature of those calculations. So this kind of demonstrates a way of doing it quickly and doing it automatically. Um, and just like everything in relation to BIM, you obviously you've got to check that against maybe doing it manually just to make sure it's, 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 it's working correctly. Once you've done one check, you know your formulas are working correctly, it, 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 should, be, it should be fine. Um, again, on the RICS website, we will have doc that documentation up there and the, the detailed process of how we carry that out. I don't know if I necessarily did it justice, um, but Martin Marks from Exactel can show you the actual live, a live demonstration of that Costex workbook um, out in the, the, the main hall. Um, so just flicking through that, they're just the reports. You can't really tell exactly what's going on. That is the NRM3 um, suggested format for life cycle costing. So you've got your maintenance and minor, and that's generated from the Costex workbook. That's again an NRM template showing the life cycle over 30 years of, the, uh, of this estimate. Um, and that's the detail. Of course, you can't really see it, but it's, it will be up on the RICS website. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much.